हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल एक्चुअली टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट वन टैप गूगल ऑथेंटिकेशन इन व्यू जे एस एंड लेट मी शो यू द डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन सो इफ आई जस्ट ओपन द एप्लीकेशन विच इज रनिंग ऑन लोकल होस थ्री थाउजेंड वी विल सी दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली द वन टैप ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड इट विल डू द ऑथेंटिकेशन ऑटोमेटिकली यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन कंटिन्यू एंड इट विल वेरीफाई द इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड देन इट विल शो यू द प्रोफाइल पिक्चर डिस्प्ले नेम ई मेल एड्रेस एंड ए लॉग आउट बटन इज वेल सो लॉग आउट फंक्शनलिटी इज ऑल्सो देयर इट विल रीडायरेक्ट मी टू द प्रोफाइल पेज इफ यू सी राइट हेयर सो लोकल हो थ्री थाउजेंड प्रोफाइल इट विल रीडायरेक्ट मी लेट मी जस्ट सो सो वी विल बी looking to do this so you will see that the application is running on local host 3000 slash profile it will redirect me to the profile page where you can actually see the profile picture display name email address and a logout button as well so if i click the logout button i will be redirected back to the home page once again it will automatically detect and it will automatically uh, i did not have to actually press the login button and it automatically did the process for me so this is one tap authentication of google which is provided if you go to the home page once again you can see you have seen these authentication in the websites like this in the so this is very cleaner way of doing authentication because it is all the bulk work is done by google to actually authenticate you and you can actually display details so we are actually using a module in vue js vue js 3 we are using the latest version of vue js and we are using this module which is called as vue 3 google login this is actually the package we are using for this making this google authentication we are also using vue router and this is the latest version we are using at the time of recording this video which is 3.0.4 and it is compatible with all the versions but uh, you should use the latest version so all the source code guys is given in the description you can directly purchase it from my website procodestore.com with full documentation and support so if you still want the source code you can go to the description link procodestore and purchase the source code uh, you will be getting this zip file after you purchase it and you will be redirected to google drive where you will actually get this zip file which will actually contain all this directory structure all the source code files let me also show you uh, with a different account if i open the same route here with a different google account so again it will sign in with google it will automatically sign in you you can see it is signing you and now again it will actually you don't need to select your account you don't need to grant permissions this is a cleaner way of doing it where we don't show the user a consent screen we just log in in, in the background so this makes it very much easy you will see the profile picture is shown let me show you another account so this is the user interface is quite simple you will see signing you in and you will see that so in this way guys we will start building this application so what i will do i will go navigate into the projects directory right here and i will simply make a new project of vuejs and i will be using the wheat development engine wheat is actually a similar to webpack it allows you to make uh, front end applications such as react js vue js and it is very fast as compared to the native commands to actually build uh, vue react js applications so i will be using wheat here to actually build the simple project of wheat sorry vue js so there is a simple command right here which is npx create wheat app followed by the name of the project so let me give here view o or to google and then dash dash template and we are building it for views that's why we need to provide view here so npx create wheat app followed by the name of the project and dash dash template and it will be using the view template this is a command here simply execute this command and it will actually create a brand new folder inside your directory which will contain the view js project so now it has created this folder so we can navigate into this folder and uh, let me open it inside vs code so it will look something like this this is the view js 3 project we have a app dot view folder we just need to install the node js modules by npm i so this will install all the modules create a node modules folder right inside your root directory 
so now we can start this server and uh, we can basically previously started so we can just uh, stop this server and start this npm run dev this is actual command to actually start this Vue.js server so you just need to navigate to localhost 3000 so it is just compiling the project and uh, now this is will be the hello Vue.js app you can edit this file by going to app.view and simply delete everything from here just write hello world just delete everything from here so a, temp a Vue.js com component comprises of a template tag inside this you will write your HTML then we have the JavaScript uh, as well and CSS as well for them you can see hello world is showing right here so the very first thing we need to do guys we need to install this module which is uh, view 3 Google login it's a specifically made for Vue.js application for integrating the Google authentication so npm i view 3 dash google dash login this is actually the package we are using npm i view 3 google login simply install this package you can read more about it by going to the documentation view 3 google login if you just type here on google you will see the very first link which comes right here this is the npm js page of this module so it is already having 12,000 weekly downloads you will see so we, we, documentation is given so we will be implementing this so once it's installed we can start npm run dev once again so now what we need to do we need to navigate to the main.js file where we need to register this plugin which we installed register this library so go to the main.js file right here and uh, right here we need to import this module so we will simply say here import view 3 google login and we will be importing it from the package we have installed view 3 google login so inside this package we have this method available view 3 google login and now we just need to register this so for registering it it is very easy what we will do we will just say const app create pass the app here and we just need to import create app you will see it is already imported and then we need to simply say app.use we will use this middleware view3 google login that we imported and here we need to provide the client id it takes as argument right here client id we need to pass it so we will be creating it inside google developer console and also right here we will simply app.mount and we will be mounting it to this element which has an id app that's all this is all that we need to do right here to actually register this so now to get this uh, client id we just need to go to google developer cloud console and right here you just need to create a brand new project it is totally free go to api services and right here you need to create uh, go to credentials and uh, click on create credentials OAuth client id and here you just need to give the application type which will be web application and here inside authorized javascript origin this will actually hold your home page url so http localhost we need to give this and the second so it will give you this information let me just go to it and provide the so this first URL will be this HTTP localhost this is required because you are building your application on localhost and the second one will be the URL which will include port number as well so this is actually the full URL of the application including the port number as well which is HTTP localhost 3000 and now in the authorized redirect URI we again need to use the same address right here HTTP localhost 3000 so again we can paste the same address right here so HTTP localhost 3000 so once you provide all this information you just need to click on the save button and now it will provide you this uh, client id and the client secret this will be different for you so don't copy this my information so just write here client id just paste it here so now we have successfully configured the client id and also you need to one more thing we need to do right 
we just need to create a router file as well right here so just create inside the source directory a folder for router which is router and right here we will create a index.js file so we just need to make routes for our Vue.js application so we have this create router and create web history methods available from the view router we just need to install view router as well so i forgot to tell you so npm i view router so if you want to integrate routing inside view application you need to install this module this is built this is a part of the library so you just need to install it So it will coming from the view router, you will see that. And here we need to define the routes, different routes. So it will actually contain an object which will contain three properties. First is a path and then the name of the component which will be login. And here we will be loading these, these two components right here. First is the login and the second one will be the profile. So here just create a inside your components folder delete this hello world component and instead of create uh, login.view and uh, profile.view so just have a template this will be the profile component and now we just need to include these components so you simply say login So now to include these components you will simply say you need to import dot dot component slash login and also we need to import uh, like this. So now we can simply use these components in the component property login and the second route will be so here if you go to the home page it will show you this login component and here we'll making a second route for the application so if you go to slash profile then we need to uh, show the profile component so here we'll say the component property will be profile so now we just need to create this router so router will instantiate create router and right here we will pass the history to be create web history and we will pass the number of routes that we created as the second property so this is actually the router we just need to export default the router so that we can use this inside the main js file export default router so now we can include this router inside the main js file we can register it similarly that we did for registering the uh, library so again we will be simply be passing it right here as in middleware app.use router so this will be automatically imported import router dot from router so router is available in the router folder so that's why you need to go to the router folder and then index so just make this change so now you will see nothing will be no error will if you go to localhost 3000 so nothing will be showing here instead hello world is showing so why it is showing you we haven't uh, we need to simply go to app.view still it is hard coded hello world here so we need to change this value it is very simple uh, we just need to here uh, just bring the router tag which is router view so we can simply say so we, we will have a root tag div id app so inside this we will be embedding the router
So that's all that we need to do guys if you refresh now you will actually see the login component if you go to the home page if you go to the slash profile route you will see the profile route so in this way you can actually do the routing inside view 3 instead you can bring the view router register it and inside your router file you can register as many routes as you possible you can have individual components stored inside the components folder right here now we just need to simply do the as we registered our client id in the main, uh, main js file you will see we are registered this uh, view google 3 login now we just need to go to the login component right here and simply write some html so right here instead of login we will simply have a class of login and here we'll be having this tag which is google login this is actually it will be imported from we just need to import this uh, google login and it will have this uh, callback function here we need to assign a callback function so we'll be defining this callback function in the javascript we'll be assigning some classes here which is bg blue 500 uh, hover bg blue so these are all tailwind classes guys we can actually include a uh, cdn so i will show you how to do this so these are all tailwind classes phone blowed py2 px4 and it will be rounded and one more option we need to give here prompt and uh, auto login so these are part of these uh, library so this will be a special button which will be shown in the home page and uh, now we just need to define this in the javascript so right here we will say setup we need to import this uh, first of all we need to import the use router from view router and we just need to make uh, the router use router and now we just need to make this function which is callback so this function that we defined right here in this so this function will automatically get this response right here whenever the google login is completed so inside this response we will be having uh, the user information this response will be coming from google login response so we can simply show in the console as well so after this if you just refresh your browser if you go to the home page you will see a sign in with google button and it is signing you in and uh, if you just check the console right here you will actually see an object will be received by us so this will actually contain the credential so this credential is called as jwt token uh, this is json web token so we need to decode this credentials to actually get the user profile information such as a display name email address and the profile picture now to decode this jwt token we will actually use a method which is available inside this package which is a decode credential so now to we can import this method import decode credential from view 3 google login and now you will use this method to actually decode this credential we will say let profile is equal to decode credential and here we will be passing the credential which is present inside uh, response.credential and we will be storing this information inside the uh, local storage save user profile in local storage you can also store it in a database as well if you are in production level application but for the sake of this tutorial we are storing it in local storage so there is a method set item and we can simply say user json dot stringy file we will convert the json object to a json string and profile and then we will say router push we will push to the redirect the user to the profile page so this is very simple and we can actually write the css styles as well so this tutorial is not about css so i will simply copy paste this code so all the source code you can purchase it guys so if you just now navigate to the home page you will see it signing it with it is showing you this continue with 
it will now navigate to your profile page you will see now you will be landing on the profile page once you are authenticated so now we can display this information in the profile page we can simply go to profile page right here and instead of this h1 tag we can have a div profile and right here we will have a conditional statement v if so if the user exists then only we need to uh, just show the information so first of all we will be showing the user dot picture so you just put a colon right here so then we will have the user display name user dot name and then similarly we have to display the email address user dot email so if you just refresh now you will actually see just navigate to home page and once you are authenticated save the information in local storage and oh sorry we do need to actually get this user object using a script tag so basically in Vue.js application we the component comprises of upon HTML CSS and JavaScript so once we do need to get this user object because now to get this user object we will use on mounted it will be coming from the base view library and it also will be using the use router also from view router so right here we will be having a simple export default we will have the setup method right here We will have the user ref null and then we will basically say router is equal to use router. By default the user will be null and now we need to get this uh, user info. We will define a function. So inside this function what we will do? We will actually get the user information from the local storage. So now to get this information, local storage have the method called as get item, and here we will be passing user, which is a key name. So now if the user information is found, then in that case, we will assign user dot value is equal to JSON, and we will be converting the JSON string to a JSON object by using JSON dot parse and passing stored user like this. So now. In the else block, we can simply router dot push to the home page if the user information is not found. So we will be executing this function as soon as your component is mounted. So this is very simple. You can do it using uh, a lifecycle method which is available for every view component which is on mounted. So whenever this component is mounted, you need to execute this function. So if you just uh, uh, reload the application, you will actually see. So once you are authenticated. OK, we do need to return this uh, as well, this user property. That's why it is not working. At last, after you define all these methods, there is actually a return property which you need to say return the user object so now you will see the information will be displayed right here the profile picture display name and the email address and also guys we also have will be a logout button which will be responsible for logging the user out from the application so button logout and we will be binding a on click listener to it which will execute a logout function we need to define this logout function so right here we can define it logout so inside this logout function guys it's very simple you just need to navigate to the home page and clear the information from the local storage local storage dot remove item and we will remove the item user and redirect the user back to root router push home page and also we need to return this method as well logout so that it can be accessible in the template so we can access this method so if you just uh, we have a logout button 
and if you click logout you will be redirected back to the home page and again if you go to the home page it will automatically detect please logging you and continue you will see that it will now show the user profile information so in this way guys you can actually make a simple user authentication system in Vue.js one tap authentication it's automatic we don't need to show any consent screen this is one tap automatic authentication system in Vue.js using Vue 3 Google login library please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well and if you want to purchase the full source code the link is given in the description you can go to procodestore.com and you can actually purchase it from Google Drive after payment you will be redirected to Google Drive here you will actually find the source code with full documentation and I will be seeing you guys in the next video